Well, good morning, church. We have just returned from a week away, spending some time up in the mountains, enjoying God's country in Montreat, North Carolina, but glad to be back and to be here with you today. We are reading from the book of Acts this morning. If you saw the devotional from last week I did with my friend Jim, we read Acts 1 and now we're in Acts 2. And what's happened, just so you know, is that the Holy Spirit has descended upon the people of God who speak many different languages, yet they understand each other. This diverse group of people become the first church of Jesus Christ. And they hear um, Peter preach this wonderful um, sermon afterwards. They feel led and converted to follow Jesus and to be a part of a new community. Because following Jesus is always about becoming a part of this movement that God calls the church. Listen now for the word of the Lord about the very first converts in the faith. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you for your children and for all who are far away, every one whom the Lord our God calls to him. And Peter testified with many other arguments and exhorted them saying, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized. And that day about 3000 persons were added. And then this is what happened next, listen to what changed about their lives. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. All came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. If you heard that movement from people hearing the good news about Jesus Christ and the forgiveness of sins, the people repent by not only believing, but acting on faith. And they become a new body, the church. Believing always changes our lives, and it calls for a response. And that first little gathering of believers that is the church may present to us somewhat of an ideal that we have uh, sought to relive in Christian community, but it is indeed a goal. They take care of each other. They pray together. They study the scripture. They gather which unfortunately we are not able to do physically, but are spiritually connected through the Spirit of God. And they are glad. There's something compelling and attractive about this community of faith. Friends, we are never called alone to follow Christ. We are always called into community. So at this time, while we are separated, as a fellowship, please know that the Spirit of God is acting and moving among us, and we can trust and believe this God to be faithful in all things. So let us pray. Amazing God, 
you move within our hearts and our lives and we become new. We are transformed and we become a new people together. Those who praise you, who love you, who care for one another, who are marked by your kind of grace and forgiveness once we are forgiven. And we, through that power, bring other people into the fold and into the walk with you. Be with us this day as we seek to follow you and know that we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, both on this earth and in heaven, who are your people everywhere. Thanks be to God for this great communion. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.